got some sleep last night. Well, that, that's definitely that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, but those drugs aren't easy on my stomach. I take three at night and I'm out like a light for six, seven hours. Problem is I wake up running to the bathroom every other hour. And now I gotta sleep on the couch just next to the damn toilet. Well, Dylan, I got the results back from the test that we took last week. Sorry to say, they're not good. Not at all what I hoped. What do you mean? You see, the, the disease, it, it, it isn't in regression like we had hoped before. If anything, it's growing stronger and your white blood cells are rapidly de decreasing in size and quantity. You're fucking with me. I wish I could say I was. But Dylan, I'm very, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to have to tell you this. So, what? What happens now? More drugs? Well, at this point, we're not really sure how long you have. But it isn't long at all. Months, weeks, maybe even days. It's time to start thinking about the quality of life. Spend what little time you have left with family and perhaps friends. can hear. I know. It's it's just that things are bad right now. Bad? You lose job? No. No? So you pay me rent? <sighs> I'm dying. D dying who? Me. I am. <sighs> you know, tell you what. When you have money to pay rent, you pay me. Okay. You know, you're a good boy. Bad things happen to good people. I've been thinking about doing some traveling. Why the hell would you want to do that? <laughs> Why the hell would you want to bring your doodles to the bar? So you could look even more unattractive? <laughs> uh, their etchings? <laughs> you never want to get laid again, do you, Unabomber? Back to... Traveling? Yeah. I figured I don't have a girlfriend at the moment. Probably won't have one in the foreseeable future, and... I don't have a job either, so... I figured... What the heck? You know they make you take off your shoes. What? Your shoes, the airport cops, they make you take them off. Dude, they've been doing that for like five years now. Where the hell have you been, Da Vinci? Mostly at your mother's basement. <laughs> She's like a hundred years old. Congratulations, asshole. I etched her in the nude. <sighs> What's up with that Heidi chick? Oh, I ran into her the other night at my friend's grand opening. I really wasn't feeling her. Heidi? Long legs Heidi? She's way hot. <laughs> I didn't even talk to her. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Because she's a bitch. Dude, why do you have to be such a dick? I'm an artist. I have a plan. I can't have attached, in insecure women throwing themselves at me. Dude, you are not an artist. You draw with a tiny pencil, and I'm sure <laughs> and positive that she was not a virgin. It's called etching, and she was. Okay, dude, I'm saying this because I care about you as a friend. But it sounds to me like you're turning into a fruit. Don't persecute me. <sighs> well, not to change the subject or anything, but there's a reason I called you guys out here tonight. What's up? I went and saw the doctor today. And? Yeah, and? Well, let's see. There isn't a simple way to say this, so... Things are not getting better. In fact, 
They've gotten worse. Worse? How worse? A lot worse. Seriously? I'm afraid so. Buddy, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I just want you guys to know that this could be the last time we get to hang out together. Shut up. I'm serious. Are you fucking with us right now? That's exactly what I said. Here we are joking about the etchings and Jerry turning gay. Yeah, well, that's the point, right? Better to go out laughing than crying. Can we get some more beers? Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah. So what are you going to do now? Take my medicine, wait as long as I can. That's it? Yep, that's it. So that's what the millionaire doctors at Valley are telling you if there are huge pensions and 50 medical degrees? It's a rare blood disease. Only 4% of the population never contract it. No one knows much about it. I'm really sick. So fuck me. So that's why you want to travel? Pretty much. I don't want to die in my apartment. <laughs> it's Pretty depressing. Much. I don't want to die in my apartment. How will you know when it's time? Lucky for me, there'll be warning signs. First, I'll lose my hair. Then I'll start coughing up blood. One day, I'll cough up so much. Kaput. Holy shit. Something like that. Are you nervous? Uh, not really. It's been three years since I've been fighting this disease. Hello? Hey Deb, it's me. How you doing? Why are you calling me, Dylan? I just want to talk to you. Now, after all this time, you want to talk? I know, crazy, huh? A little bit. Are you drunk? No, not drunk. Hi? No, not that either. Then what? Actually, I just wanted to hear your voice, strange as that sounds. The store's kind of busy right now, so... I know. I, I won't keep you long. It's just that my condition, it's gotten worse, and, and there's a chance I won't make a recovery from it. I just thought you would want to know that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thanks. I didn't want to scare you or anything. Is there anything you need? Anything I can do? No, I'll be alright. I just wanted to tell you that. I'm sorry for screwing you the way I did. You didn't deserve it, and I'll always regret saying those things. I know you are. It's okay. I'm over it. You are? Yep. All right, then. You should get back to work now. I'll call you if anything changes. Please do, and good luck, Dylan. my point. Then what is your point? That you can go to work all day and then come home and not give a shit? You said that, not me. Oh please, you're a ghost. You leave before I do in the morning and before the kids even wake up. And then you come home an hour after I've put them to bed. It's my job. It's a lie. You are avoiding your family and you know it. And what is it? Do you not care about us? Do you not care about any of us? Do you really not care about your kids anymore? Don't ask me stupid questions. Because you sure as hell act like it. Look at how you're acting right now. It's late and I'm tired, and all you do is come at me with a list of nagging questions. You do this all the time. Nagging. All the time. Nagging. It's, it's what I do? Yes, get off my back. I provide for this family the only way I know how. And if you don't like it, you can find the door. And the kids? They can find the door too? You can go. The kids stay. <laughs> what, so you can hire some bimbo to watch after them all day? Is that what you want? Just stop talking. I will not stop talking. Then I will. You may not love me, but you love them. You have to love them. Bike stuck? 
Yeah, I can't get that stupid lock open. Where are you headed? I'm headed downtown. I got a doctor's appointment in an hour. You live in the building? Yeah, I do. I'm on 6. I can take you there if you want. Really? Yes, but you're gonna have to make up your mind because I'm late. Sure, thanks. Let's go. How are we feeling? <sighs> I feel like shit, but I can't speak for you. Headaches? Yeah. Dizzy spells? Yeah, more or less. I'm having a trouble I'm having trouble doing normal things. Normal things? Like like what? <sighs> this morning, I couldn't even open my bike lock. But that's all a part of the process. Is there something you can give me for it? Unfortunately, there isn't. Why not? You see, Dylan, we've given you pills to go to sleep. We've given you pills to wake up. We've given you pills for pain. We've given you pills so that you could feel. Unfortunately, the body can only take but so much of one thing. So, <laughs> no pills. I'm afraid not. It's been four days since I found out I was going to die. Not die as in there's an outside chance. No. It's way past that. Four days since I heard you're definitely going to die, no doubt about it. That's a lot to digest. That's a lifetime of wasted chances. Looking for anything specific? Sort of. For your girlfriend, wife? Not exactly. Gag gift. <laughs> It's for me. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Well, unfortunately, this is a women's wig and hat shop. So you don't have anything for guys? No, sorry. Damn. But I do hair. You do hair? Yeah, I style some of the wigs in the shop. I could probably come up with something if you'd like. Um, here. You got something like that? Sure, I can do that. Awesome. Uh, how do we do this? Come back. Are these all yours? I've worked on them, on them all, but they're not all mine. How'd you get into wigs? I went to school. For hair? Yes, for hair. I went to school for television media. On air? And writing. A writer? Well, not at the moment. At the moment, I don't do much of anything. At least you're honest. So, why'd you shave your head? You're not a Nazi, are you? <sighs> Trying something new. No, I'm not a Nazi. Something new? Yeah. Why? Seems far-fetched. <laughs> nice one. Here, sit. What do you think? I like it. Very cute. Uh, you think I'm cute? I didn't say that. I was talking about the hat. Touche. So, what's the real reason you need a hat piece? So, what's the real reason you uh, need a hat piece? You don't want to know. I asked, didn't I? Fine. I have a disease that causes me to lose my hair, so to combat it, I shave it off. Sort of a preservation type thing. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I'm sure you have enough problems of your own. What do you think? I like it, you? Fits well. It works. Yeah. I think I'll take it. What's going on down there? Mr. Winnow was dying, you ain't here? No. Oh, thank you. Hey, Dylan. Oof, you scared me. I'm sorry. I'm Blair, Fred's wife, your neighbor. <laughs> How did you know my name? Fred told me it's been, what, five years? Yeah, I'm a bit reclusive. No worries, just thought I'd say hello. Anyways, um, did you hear about Miss Robinwitz? Yeah. Sad, isn't it? She was really old. She seemed nice. She was. I wonder what they're going to do about her apartment now that she's gone. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm sorry? Sorry, what I meant to say was I won't be living here much longer, so it doesn't really affect me. Moving? Not exactly. What does that mean? It's nothing. Uh, it's, it's like a relocation. 
Okay. Um, well, I'm going to be making dinner later, and Fred won't be here, so there'll be extras if you're hungry. I don't know. Is he cool with that? Why wouldn't he be? I don't know. Just you and me in the same apartment together. My kids are home. Good point. <laughs> well, either way, just stop by. Okay. See ya. Your apartment is much nicer than mine. Spare no expense. Your kitchen is really nice. Come to think of it, I wish I had anything this nice. Oh, stop. Seriously. So, how did you meet Fred? He gave me a ride downtown last week. Really? Yeah, why? No reason. There had to be a reason. You just said it like I had a third nipple on my forehead. It's just, it doesn't sound like the Fred I know. What, giving someone a ride? Doing something nice for anybody but himself. He seems like a great guy. You don't know him like I do. Yeah, but the little I do know seems fantastic. What time is it? Almost nine. And he's still not home. And still hasn't called to say when or if he's coming home. The kids are in bed and he hasn't read them a bedtime story in at least seven months. Sorry to hear that. Story of my life. Your life to me doesn't seem all that bad. It's not bad, it's different from what I expected. Different from what I thought it would be when I was younger, when Fred and I first got married. What happened? The success, the money, probably both. It changes you whether you want it to or not. The little notes stopped being left, the nights got longer, the weekends weren't ours any longer. It became all work all the time. But that money... It bought you all this stuff. And you have two cute kids. I don't want things. I want my husband. And I'm practically a single mother. I'd be surprised if he even knew their middle names. I just don't... See how it's even possible? Me either. But I can assure you, it is. It's very real. I'm living proof. <sighs> Please don't take this the wrong way, but I just don't think it should be my responsibility to get involved in your marriage and family life. You barely know me. Fred barely knows me. I know. No offense. Did you get enough to eat? Plenty, thanks. I should get going. I'll start the dishes. Can you find your own way out? Sure. Howdy. Come here often. Are you flirting with me? No, asshole. Yes, I come here quite a bit, but I don't kiss on the first date. Smart ass. Here's to looking at your dress. How about you? Do you frequent this shitty place? Me? No. I just need some time before I go home to face the Grand Inquisition. I hear you, you know. You hear us? Literally, I hear you. Will you put your ear to the wall or something? Only once. Your ears having sex? Do you ever have sex? You got me there. You're looking well. Yeah, just venturing out, trying new things. How's that working out for you? We got a date out of it. Really? Yeah, why? Am I really that bad looking? No. He's out of the truck. I've been at the game for a while. I don't know what girls these days want from a guy. Maybe it's ugly hair. Anyway, your wife Blair. Yes, I know you know her name. Right. Well, she invited me out to dinner the other night. Yeah? I hope you don't mind. I didn't want you to think I was trying anything. It's fine. I told her to invite you over. Why would you do that? You seem lonely, Dylan. I'm not lonely. I can see it on your face. Okay, Mrs. Cleo. Call me now for a free tarot card reading. <laughs> nice. All joking aside, she told me a bunch of shit. Like what? Don't get mad. Okay. I mean it. If 
fine. You can't hit her or anything. I'm insulted. I heard you guys argue a few times. It's angry, it's loud, it scares the shit out of me. Will you just tell me, please? <sighs> She's unhappy. No shit, Sherlock. She said she doesn't care about the money and the things in your apartment. Because <sighs> she wants her husband back. Does any of that mean anything? No. I mean, it does, but I can't do anything about it. Why not? You wouldn't understand. Try me, man. You're not married, so... Forget that. Tell me. It's over your head. <laughs> Say for me. You want to work in a house store? Well, no. I guess I'd be pretty gay if I did. But... I know what you mean. <laughs> exactly. Looks great. Best in the city. Go ahead and try it. That's good. I told you. How's the hat? It's perfect. You said your medicine was weak on your stomach? Totally. How so? I take a couple billion pills every day. A couple for pain, one or two for sleep. I swear I got this one pill, size of a prune. Size of a midget's fist. <laughs> Is any of this turning you on? Not really. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't know you had any expectations. I didn't. I don't. Are you sure? Hey. 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 Did you? You did ask me out. Yeah, I usually don't do that sort of thing. Ask girls out? Ask pretty girls out. You think I'm pretty? Very. That's sweet. I try. So, no girlfriend? Not on you. Single is charged. How is that possible? It's by choice. You like being alone? Yeah, you don't? Nah. I mean, it's different for me. When you get sick, you hate being alone. Dinners are like the saddest thing in the whole world. You do that often? Sometimes. I like my freedom. Don't get me wrong, when the right man stumbles my way, I'll get married, but right now, no thanks. Sometimes. I like my freedom. Don't get me wrong, when the right man stumbles my way, I'll get married, but right now, no thanks. I know what you mean. I have this neighbor who hates his wife and kids. These kids are so adorable. And his wife? She's a ten. He doesn't give them the time of day. It blows my mind. That reminds you of me? Don't get me wrong. Uh, I might be going on a limb here, but I think you're afraid to end up like her, like Blair. Pretty neat. And so is Sheila. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, sure. I don't want to like you. Oh? Uh -huh. There's something about you that is attractive. Is it my eyes? I get the eyes comfortable a lot. No, it's not your eyes. Is it my charm then? Just stop. I guess we should stick to the muffin. Good idea. Mm -hmm.
Hey, uh, Dylan, it's uh, Barry with American Debt Collectors. Uh, I need to speak with you in regards to your last American Express past due letter. Uh, please call me immediately at uh, 555-432-3674. Thank you. I'll write you a check, Barry. Hey, Dylan, it's Deborah. I was calling to see how you were. After we talked, I felt terrible because I know it must have come across as if I don't care. And I do. I guess I just... We've been through too much to treat you that way, and I'm sorry. Now you call, right? It's been 20 days since I was told I was going to die. I let her go tonight. I finally let her go. I didn't just burn pictures. I burned her ghost. It's haunted me for a long time. Not anymore. <laughs> this shit is depressing. Can't believe I'm here right now. Dude, it's a church. Watch the language. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to God. Sorry, God. Anyway, I told you you didn't have to come. I wanted to. Rough, isn't it? Makes me not want to come to terms. But it's important you hear this. Why? I don't know. Then why'd you say it? I'm trying, all right? <sighs> this is bad. Very. How you been feeling? Fine. Throwing up yet? Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, how was that date? It was good. Uh, she said she found me attractive. <laughs> <laughs> she did. What? Why does everyone say it like that? Just saying. Good for you, but... How does that work? What do you mean? You date her, then you start to like her. That's how it works, right? I already like her. Does she know about all this? What? All this. A little. A little? She knows. I think she knows. Oh my god. She knows enough. What? You have to tell her, man. You have to be honest with her. What if she starts to like you in? And what? I die? Yeah. Then I don't know. I have no clue. I'm still coming to terms. I don't want anyone to hug me. You're not the one who's sick. Hope I don't catch anything in here. You're so retarded. I want you to know I'm leaving next week. When will you be back? Friday night. What about George's birthday? What about it? You won't be here for it? He understands. No, he doesn't. He's a little boy. So me telling him is going to do what? Show him who you really are. Which is? The bad guy. I already did it. I can't get out of it. Did you? Yes. Bullshit. You know, I don't know what you want from me, Blair. You want me to quit my job and spend all day at home with you and the kids watching Oprah. No. Then tell me. I want you. I want you, Fred. I want what you promised me when we got married. Or do you even remember that? You know, I hate it when you talk like that because it makes me feel so very little. Good. Maybe we need to end this. It would be best for all of us. Divorce? Are you serious? Believe it. I can't do this anymore. You. You can't do this anymore. Yes. I can't do this. Is there someone else? I've never asked you this before, so I want you to be honest with me right now. Is there another woman? No. There's no one. I don't hate you, but right now I sure as hell do not love you!
What are your parents like? They're dead. Really? When? My mother died five years ago. My dad a few years after that. That's sort of romantic. They were divorced. They fucking hated each other. My mother used to call my dad the devil. What's that say about me? That you're a bastard. Technically, that's true. I'm sure she didn't hate him that much. No, she did. It wasn't a cutesy divorce. They fought a lot. Are you serious? I spent my whole adult life attending funerals and testament readings. As funny as it sounds, it's been five years and I still haven't cried about her. Why not? No clue, I just haven't. You need therapy. Maybe. I cried when my dad died, though. Go figure, the abusive alcoholic with a short fuse instead of Mrs. Cleaver. I'm sure it's more common than you think. Who knows? <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You've been coughing a lot lately. It's effects of the pills. Are you gonna tell me what's the dealio with your condition? It's complicated. So? So if I tell you, you wanna run. Is it contagious? No. Are you dying? No. Then it can't be that bad. It's not. Let's just talk about something else. Like what? Hats. Let's talk about hats. <laughs> you like it? No. <laughs> no? No. Why not? It's not your style. Which one should I try on next? Uh, All right. Try that one. That one? I'll bring out your eyes. The brown one? Yeah, the poop okay. brown one. I'll try the poop brown one. <laughs> on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey, you busy? Uh, no, why? What's up? It's a long story. Can I come in? Sure. Don't tell me you hired someone to decorate this place. Nope. It was all me. It's cozy. It's ugly. I know. Have a seat. This your bed? For now. It's temporary. I was joking. So what's up? I mean, what's up with the suitcase? Blair and I are thinking of separating for a while. Separating? What does that mean? We're thinking of taking a break. Bullshit. What? I know what that statement means. It means you're thinking about getting a divorce. How would you know? Taking a break is what a guy says when they're either getting a divorce or married and wanting to screw around the side. That's it. Nothing's been finalized. Are you kidding me right now? You've got kids. Relax. Oh, at least it's not my life, man. You're sure acting like it is. I just... I think you need to think about your options before coming to any conclusions. You know what I think? No. I think I want a drink. Do you want a drink? I got nothing in the house. It fucks with my pills. Then let's go. Change your shirt. Why? It's a terrible shirt. It makes you look chubby. It does? Yeah. Let's bounce. Thank you, sister, for your great testimony. Young brother Dylan, you never talk much. W would you like to speak tonight? Do I have to? No, no, you, you don't have to, but it's a part of the process. <sighs> okay. Well, come on up, amen. Give this brother a round of applause. Hello, I'm Dylan. It's been 50 days since I was told I was going to die. Sucks, I know. I guess, in a lot of ways, admitting you were dying is really the first step to living the rest of your life. I've been able to understand that with my head, just not with my heart. When I found out, I started taking inventory of my life. Questions, fears, hopes, 
I remember thinking to myself that it took me dying to really understand what I wanted out of life. What I still want out of this life. I've recently met someone that I really like. I may even love, but I haven't told her about my condition. I know she deserves the respect of me doing that, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm afraid she might cry. She might not believe me. She might try to clean up my house. I just don't know. And I feel bad for that. So here I am. Seriously ill, you know? I can't sleep at night. I'll miss my friends. I don't know if I'm going to heaven or hell. And to top it off, I'm stuck in all these numbers and statistics. Will it hurt? Is today the day? Is today the day? Is tonight the night I go? I don't know. All I do know is that I want to find hope in tomorrow, if it comes. I guess hope is finding meaning in life, whether it's five minutes or five days. It's all I've got. It's all I've got. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What? It's nothing. Cut on my lip. How? <sighs> Eating something. It's no big deal. Why are you up so late? I couldn't sleep. I get that a lot. Did you hear about Fred? I did. Sorry about that. It's okay. Maybe he's right. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. I don't know. What do you think? Honestly, I still want to be with him. Then tell him that. I can't. Why not? Because he won't listen. Because he'll say no and storm out like he always does. Just tell him. Just tell him like you just told me. He'll listen. No, he won't. Then I'll talk to him. <coughs> Jesus, are you sure you're okay? It's nothing. Will you please talk to him? You can't give up. I feel like he's seeing somebody else. He's not. He would have told me. Here comes trouble. Hide your wallets. What's up, bunny? This is Sheila. Hey guys, I've heard so much about you. I've heard so much about you too. Good to meet you. Good things, I hope. Depends on what he's told you about us. He's got a vivid imagination. He called you guys assholes. At least he's honest. <laughs> so you've been here long? Uh, about an hour. Guess who's here? Who? Long legs. Her real name is Heidi. Her legs aren't that long. Who'd she come with? Stack. She's fucking with me. I know she is. She's a viper. The devil. I thought you were over her anyway. I was. Until you saw her again. I'm sorry, did you guys date or something? Practically engaged. Why do you have to tell people that? <laughs> because it's true. Such a dick. Why don't you just go say something? I can't do that. Why not? It's complicated. You're scared. No, he is. Totally. I am not. Totally chicken shit. <laughs> Let's just drop it, okay? I'm gonna go grab a drink. You want something? Whatever you're having. Okay. So which one of you wants to tell me the deal with that guy? Dylan? There's no dirt. What's wrong with him? You tell me. Look. <laughs> How bad? Has he told you yet? Jerry? No, I want to know. Tell me. I don't think he, want, he would want us to tell you something like that. Anything like what? Personal. Why hasn't he told you? I don't know. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> it sounds exciting. Anyways, the sun's out. We got some drinks. Friends, let's drink up, shall we? Uh, cheers. There's wine, babe. <laughs> Uh, I forgot. Happy? I am. That's a good thing. Very. What? Nothing. You're staring. I'm not allowed to do that. 
Is that not allowed? I need to ask you something. Sure. I know you're sick. Huh? And I asked your friends to tell me what was really going on with you. What did they say? Nothing. They told me to ask you. See? <laughs> it's not that important. Yes, it is. I need to know. I'm afraid to tell you. Why? I care about you. I've noticed you've lost a lot of weight lately. And we can't hide that cough. <coughs> mm. Sorry. I saw the bloody tissues in the bathroom. I know. Please tell me. It's terminal. What's terminal? My condition. At least they don't believe I can recover from it. Terminal as in how much time? Anytime. What? Don't freak out. Don't freak out? You're dying! It's not a big deal. Are you uh, serious? How would you do this to me? Wait, what? I, I have to go. Sheila! No. Sheila, no. Sheila. No. Sheila! conversation you know a few day, days ago I was really happy I was coming to terms with this whole thing I was in love with her now I could care less if I was to see the morning you don't mean that <sighs> don't I you have your family Jerry you have your art and your friends Us. Yeah. yeah, but sorry. You never know, man. Maybe she'll come around. You know, Heidi and I are back together. You are? Really? Yeah, after the barbecue, we went to the coffee house and I showed her some of the etchings I showed of her and uh, she fell for it. You know, art is like sex for females. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what about your neighbors? What about them? You said it felt good helping them. That's something, right? <sighs> What's the point? See, that's the deal I know, right there. A little resistance and fuck it. Right, you gotta keep it moving. Maybe so. That reminds me. I gotta make a call. I'll catch you guys later. Hard to see you. It looks terrible. Yeah, you said it. Poor guy. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> you did not tell me she would be here. I know. I'm sorry, right? I just knew if I told you, you wouldn't come. Probably right. I'm gonna go in the other room and let you guys talk for a little bit. Is that alright? I think you should stay. Why? Yeah, why? Because I want him to. No, I can wait in the other room. Please. Brad, is it alright? Fine, this should be a quick conversation anyway. Are you sure? Yes. Sit. So, talk. Pretend I'm not here. But you are. Try and imagine it, okay? I'll start. I'm hurt. I guess what I want to know is if there's anything that we can do to save this marriage. If there's anything we can do to stop this. And I don't want us to feel like we're wasting our time. If you feel like there's no point. Do you feel that way? I don't know. Well, what do you know? I know that things are bad. I know that things have changed. I know that I don't feel the same. 
Can you explain that to me in a way that I understand? I don't feel the same. That's it. <laughs> Is it me? Is it something I did? Is it the kids? It's not the kids, and it's probably not you either. Then what is it? I've forgotten how to love you, Blair. Why? I don't know. Life got in the way. I'm just different. It doesn't have to be that way. You can, you can start over. How? People don't change. Yes, they do. Sure. No. No, they don't. They hide the truth until it rears its ugly head again. Nobody changes. Yes, they can. What? She's right. Listen to her. Please, listen to her. How do you know? I'm changing. I'm changing right now. What are you talking about? This isn't about me. You're not married. What do you know? Not yet, but I know that right here, right now, this amazing woman is asking you to let her back into your life. You, a licensed counselor now? Please. Please. Just listen to her. I will promise you that I will do anything I can to make you happy. To, ma to make this marriage work for the kids, for each other. For you to want me again, for you to need me again, for you to notice me again. And then what? We just forget about the past? I can do that. But what if I can't? I can help you heal. What if I'm ashamed of what I put you through? I'm afraid to face my own kids. The kids will understand. They need their father, and I need him too. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I treated you this way. I forgive you, baby. I love you. I know you do. And maybe you still love me, even though you said you didn't? I think I know I do. Maybe it's not that as hard as it was on the beach that day, but I want to change all that. I want to be everything you need again, if you'll let me. Sure. Sure. I, I can. I do. Sheila, please answer. <coughs> please, I just want to talk. <sighs> what the hell are you so happy about? Shouldn't you be at work? No, I quit. You what? Quit. Really? Yes. Realized it was better to be home with my family. What about money and bills and stuff like that? What about it? It will work itself out in the end. That's right. You all right, buddy? You seem off. I'm just going through some stuff right now. Can I do anything? What kind of stuff? It's nothing. Physical stuff? Honestly, I met a girl, and she left me. When? A few weeks ago. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, that's a bad cough. Are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I just need to get inside. Yes, well, let's get together tomorrow. I want to thank you and Blair for everything. Sure. Sure. Thanks, buddy. I need a cab. Where to, buddy? The hospital. Which one? It doesn't matter, just go. All right, buddy, you got it. We are only people holding on to
100 days. That's how long I made it. Holding on to what we 100 lies I've told, 100 regrets. If we only have one more day, one more chance, one more kiss, one more minute to share with her, to have and to hold her in her wedding dress. Hey buddy, I was just thinking about you. I wanna know how you are. Call me. I'm okay now. I'm safe. I'm happy. I'm not afraid for once. She's going to make it. They're going to be happy. My friends will remember me for who I was. lives, all one day in length, 100 tries to get it right, 100 days. Tell me now, yes, tell me now, what do you believe about me? Tell me now, yes, tell me now, because I am dying just